Hello everyone, Namaste. I'm Dr. Shruti and I'm a dermatologist. Today I'm going to talk about acne and how to cope with it during this time of COVID crisis. Acne or pimples, the word which can bring nightmares to a teen or a near heart attack to a bride who wakes up to find one a day before her wedding or even traumatic to listen to stories of you know, un unmarried women here uh, in the rural center who quoted to be the major cause of the rejection of the alliance. So today uh, I'm going to talk about a few things related to acne. Let's keep it short. We'll go with the myths and facts about acne and the causes of acne and how to prevent it and all that you need to know during this time of crisis. Coming to the myths and facts about acne, one medication suits all. It's not like one size fits all, okay? So do not copy or self-prescribe your friend's or brother's or sister's prescription because each skin is different and the kind of acne that you get, the eruption pattern and the cause, all these are different on different skins. So even if you are brother and sisters or even if you are twins, your both skins can't be the same. So never self-prescribe or never copy a prescription and try some other medication which might not be suitable for your skin. Common myth is to think that acne occurs only on face. No, there is an entity called extrafacial acne or trunkal acne which can occur on the trunk or even on the upper part of the chest or even your shoulders or upper arms. People think acne is just skin deep. No, it isn't. Because most of the times, uh, for those of you who know about PCOD or any other hormonal problems, your hormonal issues can manifest as acne on your skin. Um, there are many other conditions which can cause acne. And it could even be a side effect of your topical application. And there are a lot of hormonal issues going on behind your skin. And it's not skin deep. Okay, so you need to tackle it from inside and outside to have a clear skin. So now coming to the causative agents. So what are the factors that can cause your acne eruption? So first thing first, is food. So coming to food, there are so many things that can cause acne. You can't say this or that, but most often the food that has rich glycemic index, that has high glycemic index can cause acne. So like dairy products or sugars like in sweets or even oily food like and uh, ice creams even that has sugars so ice creams and chocolates all these can be a causative agents and another most common one is coke that is carbonated drinks coke or thumbs up or pepsi or whatever so all these can cause acne and coming to the hormonal issues there are so many hormonal problems which are related to acne the most common one is pcod and the other reasons are like clogged pores due to pollution and makeup um, so it's all related to the external factors like dust but i don't think you're going to have this problem now because you're sitting at home keeping yourself safe huh? so not going out so no pollution just home food and home air so i don't think this is going to be a major problem now as we've seen the causative factors so now let's see how to battle it out at home so let's divide it into internal and external ways okay so what are the external ways hygiene plays a major role uh, we need to change pillow covers regularly and use fresh face towels every day and you need to remove your makeup properly with a proper remover and toner and follow um, a gentle cleansing routine regularly like twice daily and do apply the medication that was prescribed to you before the lockdown since we indians are fond of home remedies let's see what all ingredients can be helpful for acne prone skin and before using any of these don't forget to do a patch test first uh, try to include uh, these in your uptans or masks or packs or whatever that you're trying to make uh, lemon juice, the first thing, uh, it is very helpful for post acne blemishes, open pores, scars and tan. The tea tree oil and honey have antibiotic and anti-inflammatory actions and the sour curd can help in moisturizing. Yes, we know that the acne prone skin is usually oily but we need these to tackle the dry patches that are present here and there. Let's see the things that we really need to avoid. 
You need to avoid vigorous massages or facials, no scrubbing, no steaming and avoid waxing of face and don't experiment with the new creams or potential irritants without test patching especially now because uh, you can't go meet a doctor if you really have a bad reaction and try not to pop the acne. We know that it's very tempting and you really want to pop it but just imagine it's only 20 or 30 percent of the the thing that is present inside your acne that is coming out and imagine the whole lot of amount going inside and bursting inside uh, your skin which is going to cause a greater inflammation and a greater blemish now let's see the actual way of battling acne at home and the healthy way is to eat healthy, drink healthy, sleep and exercise. Okay, so you need to include antioxidants and vitamin C and omega-3 fatty acid rich food and avoid the food that we've just discussed which can cause acne. Okay, and drink plenty of water and do stay hydrated and never miss out on your beauty sleep. Sleep for 7 to 8 hours a day. An exercise is a beautiful natural way of getting your hormones on track. The most important thing you can do in terms of preventing or minimizing acne is to decrease stress in the form of exercises and yoga and whatnot. And it is a fact that the amount of oil or the sebum in your skin is directly influenced by stress. So de-stressing with exercise is very very important. So now since all of us are staying indoors, we have ample time to concentrate on our skin. Um, and even after following all these, if you have a problem with your skin, do not hesitate to reach out to your nearest dermatologist. You can get an online consultation and uh, take the drugs from any pharmacy, but avoid self-medication, okay? I hope this video has been useful for you and uh, we'll be back with another video on another important topic.